Good morning. My name is Brother Arian Wen Dagmar. Andrew Tapang Lopez FSC. You can call me Brother Arian. Pwede rin Brother Poggy. Pwede rin yun. And welcome to the Brothers Kitchen in the Dining Room. And today we're going to cook adobo. But why am I here? Because I'm also an alumnus of De La Salle Zobel. Um, I'm from batch 1993. And with me today are students from grade 9. Uh, hi, my name is Jason. I am Ado. Hi, I'm Dasher. So, in order to cook, we have to have ingredients. Ang Tagalog po ng ingredients ay sangka mga tao galing Zubel. So, when we go around Zubel, we better know what the word is. So, ang unang sangkap natin ay ang ating mga meat. So, right now, we have some pork. Generally, I like a lot of fat in my my pork, but since I'm supposed to be a good example to all of you, this is a lean cut of pork, but more fat than that. Then we also have chicken. So it really depends. There's no quantity involved here because sometimes you have to cook for a lot of people, sometimes you have to cook for yourself. You just have to move. It's really to taste. Then you have some garlic because people, I, people in my family, we, we like garlic. So there's garlic and everything except and you can't have adobo if you don't have bay leaves. One or two. We'll probably be using one or two as we cook our meat. And then some uh, black pepper. Preferably not yet cracked, but you can use the, the ones in the glass bottles. But this is, this is also very, very good. Um, how do we flavor our uh, adobo? The th well, Filipinos like food that has many flavors, well, the primary flavor. So, to provide the sweetness, we have a bit of brown sugar. It gives a certain taste. It shouldn't be sweet, but there's a certain richness that uh, brown sugar gives that uh, we should put in our adobo later. And then we have, I won't raise it up because it might be all over the place. There's soy sauce. And then you have vinegar, and just to make sure that everything's balanced, a bit of water. The eggs, it's a surprise. So, why adobo? Well, it's always been a staple. In it, 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 every Filipino family would have a version of adobo. And I, it's, it's relatively easy to cook, but days later, it's much, much delicious. So I like it because it's easy to cook and it lasts you a long time and the more you keep it, the, the more the flavor seeps in the meat. So many people have different ways of cooking adobo. This is my way. There's no right or wrong. There's no right or wrong. First thing is we cook the meat. Usually, I start with the pork because sometimes when you buy pork, um, there's a certain flavor or aftertaste. Um, and I cook it first so that that taste disappears. And when it's the unhealthy version, it softens the fat so that later on, when everything else gets cooked, you only have to poke the pork fat with a spoon and it just falls apart in heaven in a bite. So we first put in our pork. Do you guys? Uh, what do you make the ayam? I cook up it. What do you cook? Um, the, the basic one, you know, egg. Hot dogs. <laughs> I usually just add first the. I just usually add first the vinegar, and then chaka ko na iyahalu yung yung. Soy sauce. I'm not Rachel Ray, so just put it here. And then, with your hand, such a difficult step. Slowly. I will add some of the, the garlic so that it adds flavor already to our pork. And maybe one or two bay leaves. And then, 
and then I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> and you cover it up. And then we go to our friends. But maybe you normally go I think uh, I'm assigned now in Mindanao, and since there's a lot of time to kill, I find myself spending a lot of time in the kitchen. And usually, this is my default. It's either adobo, maybe in the second season of Brother's Kitchen in the dining room, I'll cook my spaghetti meat sauce thing and other stuff. But yes, it gives me a sense of accomplishment. Because when you, when you grow up, a lot of things will not go your way. But when you cook, most of the time, things are under your control. It gives you a sense of experience. So yes, I do cook adobo and other stuff. Uh, so brother, uh, out of all the schools here in the Philippines, why did you pick them up? Um, my parents were originally from Quezon City and then they made the move down south when there was really nothing here. So of course, they had to look around and the schools that were here were like Bene. It was still Bene then, hindi pa siya San Beda. And then Zubel and I think there was Manresa somewhere like that. And then they decided, uh, okay, let's bring him to the south. But even then, it was it was touch and go because my parents were still establishing their, their career. So, medyo mahal, mahal talaga yung situation. But then, they, they enrolled me in 1980. I still have my acceptance form from, from way back then. So, I, I went to, I went to Sibel and I finished all the way up to high school. Thank you. Uh, so, uh, it's boiling already. Usually, there's a lot of steam in the kitchen. Usually, I let this boil for about an hour, 30 minutes to an hour before adding the other stuff. Because nga, pork is a bit, it takes longer to cook than, uh, than chicken. So let's just pretend that this, this has been going on for about 30 minutes to an hour. And then I can actually add a bit of my, my soy sauce. Again, I don't really put uh, like teaspoons or cups. It's really tancha because I'm a great so a great tancha ka na as with other things in life. So you add a bit of the soy sauce and pray that you don't spill everything on the table. Pretend that you And then you, you, you let it simmer a bit. Then you put the cover again. And then you wait for your co-host to ask. So brother, how would you describe your stay in Zavell since you were from 1993? Are you sure you want me to ask? Is are the people in Zabel ready for my answer? <laughs> Hello, teachers of before. Um, I think my stay in Zabel was very, very good. Um, it sort of prepared me for what I faced when I left the school. I, I like the co-ed setup of Zabel because you could see that um, when we were thrown into inter-school things. It was easier for Zobel kids to break the ice. Kasi sanay ka na na may boys tsaka may girls sa classroom tsaka yung dynamic. It's, it's like you, you don't worship the girls here because you grew up with them. And you're not ilang naman with the boys when you go out because you, you grew up with them also. So I think that was one of the key things in that I, I enjoyed in my stay here. And I think what I liked the most is that the teachers allowed us to express ourselves. So that we were able to practice, so that when we went out into the world, and when I finally became a college student, I was confident of So I... For college, because my dad forced me. But I really wanted to go to DLSU. Um, and I think my stay in Zubel gave me the confidence that I needed to to survive in that good world. If you want to ask me about the not so happy experiences, you'll have to pay me more. Because that will entail talking about some of my teachers. I love you. Oh, so, ito, medyo kumukulo na siya. So, at this point, again, now that the soy sauce and the vinegar have sort of mixed together, along with the other ingredients like the garlic, the bay leaf, and the pepper, I'll now add the chicken. Now, one of the other things I like to add in my adobo is liver. I know, yeah, brother, liver is so like, but chicken liver, 
properly cooked and steeped in the adobo sauce is wonderful. I don't say matter, I don't like it. So try it first. So you put in the chicken. So siguro this this batch that we have will be good for maybe five to six people. Tignan niyo naman. Galing ko, di ba? Yes, brother. Tignan niyo, go. Yes, brother. You're so good. Okay, very good. I love you. Oh. So, lagay na natin yung chicken. Tapos, more or less, ang, ang hinihintay natin, what we're waiting for here is we're waiting for the flavor of both the pork and the chicken to mix in with everything else. So you, you have to give it some time to cook. And then, titimplahan natin siya with the, with the sugar. The sugar should not make this sweet, but there's a certain richness. Hindi naman siya umami, but there's a certain richness that the sugar gives, that add, it adds to the whole adob. So we'll, we'll let it simmer for a while again. Okay, so it's sort of bo boiling now, so we'll, we'll ratchet down the temperature. Right now in this wonderful first world stove, it's on high, so I'll bring it down to simmer. Para, I think, it, I'm not a cook, but if you put it on high too much, parang magiging tough yung meat. So, if you want the flavor to seep in, put it down to simmer. So, let's, let's, let's give it a taste and pray that I don't burn. Brother, why did you choose to become a burger? Ah, okay. So, di ba, nag-Ateneo ako. So, nagtapos ako ng Ateneo. Natapos ko naman siya time. And then, I went to Makati for three days. I had a job in Makati. And after three days, I said, my dream for the last four years is a sham. I didn't, it was like, I didn't like the feeling. So, I quit my job. And I said, my parents will love me no matter. They will kick me out. And they'll allow me to stay in the house. And become like me, like, parasite. Like that. Paabot mo na ako ng sugar. So now with the sugar. And then I was I was as I was in my house, I live in Pilar. Um um I received a call from Zabel. There was like a, a call from nowhere. And it was like Miss Emma, who's now the head of HR, who was helping out the director or what we call the EVP at the time. Um she asked me when I was coming in for my job interview, and I'm like, what? Why would I want to work in the bell? Like, I'm such an evil student. Then I'm going to, they're offering me a job. I might have to teach. Oh my goodness. So I come in and then they offered me a job. I had to teach one English class. Could you reach for uh, like a wooden spoon? Uh, one English class. It was a wonderful class. They were weird, but they're, they're still my friends now. And then they made me run the office of Suzette. So. It was called the Publications and Public Relations Office back then. So I had to run Counterpoint, Young Observer, because I was part of that when I was younger. Because obviously, I'm a nerd, I'm not an athlete. So I, I wanted to do that. So I said, okay, I'll give Zabel one year. And then the one year became three years. And then I had to study so that I could become permanent here at the school. Eh, ang nangyari, my brother, ako naging teacher. That was the beginning of the end. So that accidental going back to Zubel as an employee, I think I blame my brother for that. He gave my resume some point to, to the people here and then they said, Oi, si Arian, gusto mag apply. And then the, it became clear to me that what I loved most about teaching, being with the students, I would be able to do more of that as a brother because I remember the brothers who were here when I was here, like brother Felix and brother Cecil. So, in a sense, when I had to face that question already, dun bumalik sa akin na experiences ko with the brothers here. This brother Ceci and brother Felix, you, they're my model. In, in fact, up, up until today, of what I want to be as a brother and how I want my adult to be. So now, now that you're a brother, oh, what's the best thing that you like about being? The best thing I like about being a brother is my adult. <laughs> the best thing I like is still the interaction with the students. And as a brother now, I've been with the brothers for 15 years. 
I've, I've seen all our schools. This, I think we're about 16 and I've been to every single one of them. And I like each school for its own reasons. And I've learned so much from the different people that I've met. So, like I would be in, in Lipa, I'd be in uh, Green Hills, I'd be in Macolod. And then suddenly years later when I go to DLSU, they're all there. And they know each other. And some of them, Do you have a brother? The brother of Zubel? Oh, si brother Aaron. And, it's like, and then they, they backbite me. And then I say, oh, I'm so happy. They, they, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a reason for, for them to, to bond. So to me, that's one of it. The, the, the interaction, it's like a gift that keeps me. Keep on giving. So years later, uh, I'm still friends with the people that I met. So hopefully, years later, we'll still be friends. Maybe some of you, my lady, brother. Okay, yes. Lahat transcript. <laughs> So brother, let's take a look at your adobo. Uh, this one? Yeah, okay. Check, check it out. Let's put it here. And then, you know usually the, the organ responsible for tasting is the tongue. You may have to get a bit of the sauce to taste. Oh, okay. Risk your life. Do it. <laughs> here, you can use this. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> blow, 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 baby. <laughs> I know. Okay, now it's at this point. The reason why I didn't give any quantities is because at this point of the cooking, I sort of just wing it. So if it's too salty or too sour, I use either I use the ingredients that I have to balance it out. It's really balancing. So for example, if I have a sour, I add a bit of the sugar, and that sort of neutralizes that. If I sobrahan ko ng sugar, a bit of the soy sauce. Or either the vinegar, and then I let it simmer again. I let it. Parang ano yun eh? Parang like, brother, did you did you asking me questions about being a brother? Did was it instant? The knowing, no. It takes a long process for you to find out what it is you really like, what it is you're really good at, what it is you suck at, and then you sort of make decisions based on that. So I think some people will will end up at. It, it's it's something like cooking, so you really wait and you adjust and you observe. So yeah, while while what what did it taste like? Um, I think it's, it's, like it's, it's more on the universal side. So let's give one counting, ano? Remember, this so, is not this how is not much? this is not kumba. Okay, pwede na yan. Ah, oh, okay. <laughs> and then you mix it a bit with the spoon. College of St. Benilde offers school and has <laughs> restaurant institutional management. Many people have done great with their talents when they went to Benilde. Benilde is the way. And then, pretend that you're done and put it back in the bowl. And then you put back the lid and then wait it to simmer so that the taste sort of circulates and So brother, what do you usually do during your free time? I eat because FSC, which is found at every at the end of every brother's name, stands for food, shelter, clothing. <laughs> and many brothers like the F, so many brothers are fat, stout, and chubby. <laughs> but I'm fantastically super. You know, remember that. Otherwise, I will ask the registrar to block you. There's also <laughs> one more brother. What? What? Frustrated sa chicks. Ah, they are frustrating. <laughs> no, but my first heartache was in Japan. Oh. oh. I don't like football person. I was responsible for stealing the love. Anyway, that's for another show. Another talk show <laughs> concept. Watch out for it soon. Oh, it's sir. Who was your favorite teacher when back in your time? The problem with that question is none of you might have any idea of who the teacher is. But I think there's one. See, Mrs. Naputo. 
Miss Linda. She taught us, I think, science. Although she's a math teacher for that year in grade three. Grade three yan na naalala ko pa. But she was the first teacher ever na pag-absent siya, nagwawala kami. Like we feel lost. We're like we feel shortchanged because she's not here. So she was one of those. Or she's my first, first favorite, favorite teacher. I also remember Mr. Sagu, Miss Vanji de Peralta. She was my grade. No, no, she was my second year. She was my second year teacher, but she allowed us to speak. That's why I, she she gave us air time so that it wasn't just the teacher talking. I think I like those teachers. You, they allow you to talk rather than you just have to listen. The whole time. So I like it because it practices you, it gives you fun. So, yun know, yun yung mga teachers na naging favorite ko. Si Mr. Fabian, hi sir. Si Mr. Siriban, favorite ko pero hard attack kami ng grade seven three ko pa. Answer. Okay, so now that we've sort of adjusted, we pretend that we spent a lot of time adjusting to it. Perfect. The last few steps, for some people, marami mga extra steps yan during the cooking and sometimes rituals after the cooking. So what we'll do is, we'll add our secret ingredient. Farm fresh organic. I'm kidding, they're, they're eggs. So they were boiled first, and then the shells were taken out, and then we'll just put them in so there's a bit of color. Para may contrast, ni siya puro brown. We have a bit of the white. Then hopefully some of the sauce will seep into the taste of the, or will seep into the egg, and the egg will also give some flavor to the, to the broth. I like uh, adobo with a lot of parang sauce. So you can either spoon it over. What is it that's always there if there's adobo? Later, we will have adobo with egg, siyempre, with rice. Nice. Right. So smart. Ooh, so bad. Hallelujah. Oh. So we add the egg. Ginger. I always want to use Ginger. Who's your English teacher? Uh, my English teacher is Miss P. And how is English? What do you do for English now? What is your topic? Let's pretend that uh. you were paying attention. <laughs> <laughs> kids in Zabella, great pretend. Go! Uh, oh, what oh. <laughs> what <laughs> oh, yeah. uh, you see it using on TV, yes. <laughs> no, because like we had a test yesterday. So what was the test about? Active and passive, passive voice. voice. The eggs were being stirred into the pot. Active or passive? Passive. Very good. Brother Aryan is putting in the eggs in the pot. Active. active. Grade 9. You should know this grade 9. Ang grabe kayo ha. So, Zubel, I remember mga the never-ending time questions. We're cooking! Army. Balik tag. Okay, so now, we are putting, active voice, the lid onto the pot so that uh, we'll cook the egg a bit more. Not too much because it's cooked already. And then, next time you see us, we'll be eating this. And a few tips on what I do with my adobo when I eat. This is So we're now at the most important part of our food, which is the eating. So while while you guys serve yourselves, so why don't you start with the rice on your end, finish that, and then you do the adobo on your end. But save that later. Usually, what I do personally, once upon a time there was this cooking segment in one of the shows in local TV, and I found out that you can actually mix some of the adobo sauce with mayonnaise, it makes it even more simple. 
I'm a brother, so let's make it next to me. So that's one way of doing it. Um, what you could also do is, if you let it seep, if you let the flavor seep in for a while, you could actually get what's left over, and then you shred the meat. Save the sauce, shred the meat, fry it, and then it becomes a double plate. And then you can just put a bit of cornstarch on the sauce, and then it becomes like a more a sauce than soupy. So, sir, what do you cook at you? Okay, well. <laughs> you. Um, I just help my. I just help my mom. Okay. What is your favorite thing that she does? She cooks uh, normal Filipino food, like banana. What is normal Filipino food? Frog. Like, you know what? My mom, like, she cooks like the syrup and lamb chops. Like, but my mom doesn't really cook. So, my brothers and I take turns cooking. She does a lot of stuff during Christmas. Here, you and then you eat this so we can you can give me feedback. Oh. And then I'll punch you if I don't like <laughs> For me, a good adobo has to be cooked talagang matagal. So, if we had a full studio, we would probably have something that we cooked the night before and that the flavor is I think the flavor is okay. The consistency of the pork needs a bit more work, maybe double cooking that. But I'm talking about my cooking, so we'll ask some of my friends here. How great is the food? It's really good. That's why I'm a brother. Adulation. Anyway, so thank you for being with us. I hope you enjoyed uh, the recipe I shared with you today. Again, it's just a matter of going to the kitchen and trying things out and, and discovering the joys of cooking. Uh, it's one thing that I like about being a brother as well. Thank you for joining us here at Cooking with Bro. And uh, thank you to my friend. Thank you also, brother. Thank you. Thank you for, thank sharing, you for sharing, sharing your recipe with us. Yeah. It's really good. Talaga. Talaga. Bawal mo sino walang hindi. Okay, so though, for, thank you again for those of you who want to see the other recipes uh, that we've done here in Cooking with Bro. With Bro. Um, you can go on the official YouTube channel of Zubel, but your assignment is follow me so that I can follow you and watch what you're doing. Um, I'm on Twitter and Instagram. It's B R A R W E E F S C. It's Brother R O E F S C. That's what's for those two. Uh, for Facebook, uh, Brother Arian Lopez. It's A R I A N L O P E Z. Follow me on Facebook and uh, I'll greet you on your birthday. That's one thing I picked up from Brother. So, if, again, uh, for more content from Zabel, go to our YouTube channel uh, and we'll see you there. There's an official Facebook page also called DLSD. Once again, I'm Brother Aryan and this is Cooking with